Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Joke of Studio Beats and Crafts. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell button to get notified anytime I post a new video, like and share my video. Today I'll be teaching us how to make this beautiful rose on my scaffinator base and how to attach it to a scaffinator. You can go back to my previous video on how to make a scaffinator base if you don't know how to make one. Get started guys. Material needed her, our satin fabric, your wadding or gum tape, office pin, scissors, a masking thread, and a needle with your dummy head. Cut 11 inches length by 6 inches wide and set that aside another pieces of 25 inches length by 4 inches wide and set it aside wide cut 9 pieces of 2 inches wide by 10 and a half inches long cut 9 pieces and also set that aside so after cutting Fold your material into two. Fold your material into two like this. And sew it down. Sew it down. Fold it on the six inches wide. So I finish sewing the... I finish sewing it. Then you turn it inside out. Turn it inside out. Turn it to the right side. Yeah. I finished turning it to the right side. This. Then you iron. Now I finish ironing my 6 inches wide by 11 inches wide. So after ironing them, you turn it like this and place your wording of 10 inches wide by 2 inches length. 10 inches long by 2 inches wide. You place it inside, inside your material. So you can come out from the other side like this. So you can come out from the other side like this. Yeah. The reason why I'm using a wording is to make it lay properly and make it a big bogus. So do the same for the nine pieces. Do the same for the nine pieces and I'll do that and get back to us. To my eight pieces of six inches six inches wide by 11 inches length so after adding it you fold them into two like this fold it into two into two equal parts fold them into two equal parts like this Two two equal parts like this. Yeah. So after then, you be making, you be gathering the material. You make your gathers from this end to this side. You gather four pieces each. You gather it like this using running stitches. You gather it this way. I'll do that and get back to us. Fold your material into two like this. Then you make running stitches like this. Just watch what I'm doing. Make your running stitches. We are going to gather four pieces of your six inches wide by 11 inches length. 
does what she can do. You need to drop us. I'm going to gather the four, gather four pieces. So I'll do that and get back to it. I'll finish making, gathering the four of them like this. So when you get to the last, the fourth one, just pick a little from the first, first one you gather like this. Just push it in there. Just push it to close. To close it up. Bring it forward again to the fourth one. And back to the first one. Like this. Arrange your arrange your fabric in the way you want it to be. Then you Tie a knot to secure the gathers at the back. Like you can make two or three knots to secure your gathers. Then you cut your excess thread. Do same for the remaining four pieces of your 11 inches wide 11 inches length by 6 inches wide finish making gathering the other four pieces so this is where now i'm having two two pairs of four pieces that you get that you make it in a way like forming a cross form this is the second one so what you do now is you place one on the other like this Place it on the other. Just watch what I'm doing. Place it like this to cross it. Then you tack the two to secure it. You place it like this. This one forming the cross and the other cross like this on it. Just make the other one slant. Slant the other one on it like this. Then you tack the two together to secure it. Tack it together out, tack it together now and get back to us. Packing the two together, and this is what I have. This is beautiful and lovely. You can use use either of the two sides, either this side or the other side. Making a pleat with our 25 inches length and our 4 inches wide. You pleat it to Use running stitches to please to also make an additional rose that will be attaching to the other rose to make it more beautiful. Yes. Make your gathers to you get to the end of your 25 inches length. So, gather it to you get to the end. Then you can just do your rows. Just watch what I'm doing, Shell. Just turn it like this. Turn it around like this to form a rose. Then you see, just do it like this. Then you tack after getting the desired shape you want just tack it down to secure it tack it down tack it properly so that it's not this After tacking it, just make some knots to secure it. 
so I'm not to secure your yeah. our second raise is red. It's beautiful and lovely. You can just attach it to this to make it more beautiful. You can tack it down or you can tack it down with your needle and thread or you use your glue gun. Just place some glue on this and fix this. Yeah. Yo. So I'll be attaching my lid to my scarf nature base. You can put it down or your right hand side or on your left hand side but i want to put it here so what i do is with my tailor's chalk i will mark where i want to place my rules like this then i'll tack it down with needle and thread Tack it down with me down thread. Rose to my scarf meter. You can add a brooch to cover this rough part. Can the brooch? Yeah, I'm going to be using a beaded brooch. So just add it like this. I'm going to, you can use your gum to attach it or you tack it with a needle and thread. Is it this beautiful and lovely?